arrived from London, went on board the Beagle. Everything was so new, the coxswains piping, the man in the yards, the men working at the houses, to the sound of the pipe. But nothing is so striking as the rapidity of the orders and the alertness with which they are obeyed.
and in the relations of the present to the past inhabitants of that continent. These facts seem to me to throw some light on the origin of species. On my return home, it occurred to me that perhaps something might be made out of this question by patiently accumulating and reflecting on all sorts of facts which could possibly have any bearing on it. After five years' work, I allowed myself to speculate on the subject and drew up some short notes. These I enlarged into the sketch of the conclusions which then seemed to me
of some other and generally extinct species in the same manner as the acknowledged varieties of one species or another are the descendants of those species. Furthermore, I am convinced that natural selection has been the main but not exclusive means of modification. Insult him a thousand miles distance, and his great carcass is stirred with anger. 